I'm Antoinette with Austin Underground, and right now I'm here with Big Lenbo, who's performing at the Austin 360 Amphitheater as part of Everybody's Tour. Hey Lenny, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Right. How is tour life so far? How's, how's it been on the road? It's been good, it's been good. It's a very different experience for me as a performer now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, tour life is always a, it's a good, good grind. It's fun, but it's, you know, it's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. And y'all are like just getting started. You feel like you're getting in the groove yet or is it still all very new? Yeah, actually, yeah. A few shows in, we, we uh, hit a pretty good groove. So yeah, I'm just blessed with a good team and um, hype man and DJ and we're just like really vibing and kind of killing it out here. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and this is a pretty large venue tour. I mean, you, Logic, and Joey are gonna be performing at mostly amphitheaters and arenas with a lot of people like how do you prepare for a show of this magnitude uh, i wake up every day and i count my blessings because it's an amazing tour to open up on and uh just i don't know i, I feel like i've had experience on bigger stages with logic doing you know, festivals and stuff like that so kind of feel like i was already kind of in, in that zone yeah so it's uh it's, it's different when you're doing your own stuff of course you got your own set but uh yeah, it was no surprises, you know what I mean? Like, I knew what to look for. I mean, that I could, uh, knew what I had to face up to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. you got your practice. That's right. That's, That's right. awesome. And now, um, I want to talk a little bit about your music. Right. Your debut mixtape, which you recent release, recently released, is called Strange Days. That's right. Can you tell me a little bit about it and why you chose that title? All the stuff that I wrote for this debut, Strange Days, was last year from last summer through the winter and uh last summer I kind of gave up on being an artist and uh it was like I was in a strange place I, it was almost like a midlife crisis in a way like I had just given up it wasn't working I left LA and uh you know only a couple weeks after leaving LA I realized I didn't want to give it up mm. but uh yeah it was just a weird place I had to really depend on friends and family for support you know um, in every way in my life and I'm not used to that I've always been like a very independent person and kind of grounded and you know just always had you know held a job you know had, had things figured out and you know doing going into being an artist is so different and it was uh, something I had to really work towards and it was just a weird strange time and I found myself in, um, especially like really depending on people like that, mm. you know what I mean, financially yeah, and emotionally and just like having to depend and lean so hard on people. I never had to do that in my life. So that's what made it strange. Yeah. yeah. So it was just a lot of big changes, I guess, happening in your life at that time that made everything feel weird around you. Yeah, that's, that's correct. And I found out, you know, the more uh, uncomfortable it is for you in life, the more rewarding it is in the end. Mm -hmm. So I made it through. <laughs> yep. You know, we're all humans. We're all resilient. We can make it through. Sometimes you feel like you won't. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. We all have those strange days, I feel. Yeah. Know. And I bet you brought, probably wrote some of your best songs during that time, didn't you? Yeah. I, I wrote some some decent raps, you know what I mean? So a couple things on that, on the mixtape. It, it's a little moody and, you know, it's really aggressive. That's just how I felt at the time. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean... We need that kind of music sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's that's what music's there for, right? You know. Yeah. I don't feel like that all the time, but everyone can relate. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and what has the response been like so far since you've released it? It's been very positive. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, you know, that's another thing you don't know how people will relate, but at the end of the day, you just gotta realize some people are gonna mess with it, other people aren't. That's just what it is. Um, but it's been very positive. I'm, you know course using Logic's platform mm -hmm. a lot of people that are already a fan of mine um, know me through Logic's music yeah so that that's a big blessing and uh, yeah it's been it's been really positive I'm really happy with it yeah. that's awesome and so I want to get your thoughts on a topic that extends a little bit beyond your music all right um, I read an article recently or there have been a few articles that have come out that I said that um, hip-hop for the first time has surpassed rock as the dominant genre in music so I want to get your thoughts and see um, like what do you think this says about the cultural influence of hip-hop and the kind of impact that artists like yourself are able to make through this genre 
feel like any music fan could, could have really seen this coming. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing, though, that it's now. I feel like it could have been 10 years ago, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I guess officially it is now, and it's pretty awesome because that's the music I grew up with. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it is like the pop music of today. You know, even like the pop, quote-unquote, pop stars, a lot of hip-hop elements. And pretty amazing. You know, rock did the same thing mm -hmm. when it came through, and it's just the way... You know, it's kind of the way the music works, you know what I mean, in a lot of ways. So it's it's pretty awesome. It's cool. Yeah. It's nice to be alive and nice to be a rapper during this time. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hip-hop is pop music. That's good for your business, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and so um, I have to ask, since it is July and we're in the middle of summer, a lot of good music has been coming out recently. If you had to choose one song to be your summer 2017 anthem, or maybe a few songs, what would that song or those songs be? Man, I'm, I really like Kendrick's album. Yeah. Uh, I, could, I, I could probably pick a number off of those. Um, it's like Loyalty or Humble. Yeah, Summer Anthem. Khaled's uh, been on the charts. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Who, I mean, I guess I should have artists. Who are some of your biggest influences or artists that you listen to? Uh, a lot of older, I guess, old school rappers and stuff. But uh, Sean Price, rest in peace, he, he was a huge influence. Redman and Method Man, absolutely. MF Doom, hands down. Like, those are probably the biggest direct lines mm. to the style like that I have and portray. But I like a lot of like new artists, like I mean Cole and Kendrick, they're amazing, they're geniuses. And, uh, you know, Jay Z's album's cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's some, there's some other <laughs> Those some are some kids real. out there. There's a kid Jimmy Wapo out of Pittsburgh. He's dope. Um, but there's there's some young, some young. I don't stray away from the newer stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I listen to like Migos and hey. you know all that kind of stuff. Stuff that don't even sound like me, but you know I enjoy. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Like a little bit of everything. Right, absolutely. That's awesome. And lastly, I just have to ask, um, what else do you have coming up the rest of this year? You're on tour, but is there anything that you're looking forward to in the upcoming months of 2017? There's a few. There's a few things I don't really, I don't have the, uh, I can't really talk on yet. But yeah, it's 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 looking good. It's pretty amazing being an entertainer now. So some doors are opening up, and uh, I'm just hoping to fully walk through those before I put my foot in my mouth and talk about it too soon. Mm. But uh, I am looking forward to uh, carrying this tour onto Europe. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You guys are going to, like, England and Germany. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Have you yeah. performed out there? Uh, no, I haven't. But I've been out there working on the tours. Yeah. yeah not as an artist. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. You're going to yeah. be busy. Absolutely. And, you know, we got a good, close family with us, you know, a good circle of friends and people we work with. It's always a good time. Yes. Well, anyways, um, last question is just, where can people find out more about your music, what you have coming up? So I'm on the label Elysium, Logic Started, and uh, you could find that website, Elysium teamelysium.com. Um, music's on SoundCloud or Datpiff, downloadable, free stuff, and uh, biglumbo.com for the merch. Yeah. What is that? And yeah, it's out there, Big Lumbo. That's it. Yay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's been fun right. chatting with you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate you. Hope you have a great show tonight. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, with Austin Underground, I'm Antoinette. Thanks for watching.